Hello from Lauren at Pens with Poultry. Uh, today I thought I would do a little quick video um, about my heated water system for my quail. Um, I'm sorry, my horses are being idiots in the background. Uh, so my quail watering system, clearly it's cold out. I live in northwestern Pennsylvania. Temperatures get down uh, well below freezing for uh, usually I can count on it fr freezing and us getting some snow. Sorry about the lights behind me. Freezing and get us getting some snow in October or early November and then those freezing temps staying at least into March and sometimes all the way through April. So for for me, for, for my operation, it's very important for me to have a heated water system. Um, so one of the first things I did, of course, was a lot of research. Um, and I'm realizing I should have come around to the other side. So the very first thing I did was I researched how to do it. Last winter, I used uh, two liter bottles with bottle poultry cups on the bottom um, you screw the cup on you flip it over I bungee strapped it into the side of the cage um, it worked pretty well I changed them out two to three times every day during the very coldest um, time because of course they would freeze and I just maintained two or even three sets and so I would just haul them all down in a five gallon bucket and then bring them back to the bar back to the house with me and um, set them in the kitchen and they would thaw. This year I tripled, I want to say tripled my quail from last winter and I knew that the two liter bottle would not be sufficient and so after much research, much debating, here is what I came up with. Um, so my start is, this is a uh, 55 gallon food safe drum. Uh, my husband cut the top off here for me. You can see there's a hose coming in there. He put the lid on a hinge for me, which is awesome. It has a latch right here so that I can latch it if I really wanted to. Um, down inside of there, you can't see it, there's a pump in there. And I can post the link to the pump that I used. Um, it's a pretty hefty one. And then there's a... Um, stock tank heater dropped down in there as well. Stock tank heaters are great because they turn on and off according to the temperature outside. So, so they're not running electricity all the time. They heat the water to about 37 and then they turn off. So the pump is inside of here. It's plumbed into uh, this black tubing. This is half inch vinyl pond tubing. Um, and it goes along, and this is the reason that I started on the other side. My system is not set up. We're not fully set up yet. Um, excuse me, birds. So it comes in here. I know it runs across the top. I'm going to have a third tier. So for now, this is hooked into the pump. It comes, it pushes the water all the way around. I found the easiest way was to start at the bottom. Otherwise the water drops too fast through the top ones um and sometimes i end up with air bubbles so i start at the bottom i go straight back through this is an eight foot length i have uh two horizontal frost free poultry nipples in each cage and there's four cages per tier so this side has two nipples, then over here I've got two nipples, then in the back there's two nipples on the left and two nipples on the right. They have not frozen on me at all this winter. We have not had teens weather, but it's been, uh, I think it hit 19 last night actually. So, um, but there's no issues, I'm not having any leaks. Then, um, so it comes down through here in here this is a um half inch barb to a half inch male threaded fitting i got these off of amazon this is a half inch female thread to a half inch slip fitting i got these at home depot or lowe's i don't recall which 
this is PVC glued onto this PVC pipe. It runs the whole length. Then there's a, an ugly series of elbows and PVC to get it up and around the lip of the poop tray in the back. And then it comes up to the second tier. Second tier runs eight feet back towards me. And it's the same way. Two nipples in the far back cage, two nipples in the front left cage, two nipples on the far right cage, two nipples on the front left. Here's my elbow up to here. And then this will service all the way back to for my third tier. Same exact uh, setup for as far as nipples are concerned. And then it'll drop down in and that whole shenanigans recycles back and that is that pipe here. Uh, let me see if I can do this without pouring it all over the floor. Uh, there we go. So I've got that in there. When I turn on my light, it's going to glare some. I'm so sorry. Um, you can see the pump is over here. It's a, it's an aquarium pump. So it is intended to be submerged. Actually a pond fountain pump, I guess. Intended to be submerged will automatically turn itself off if the water drops too low. On the right here, you can see there's the um, stock tank heater. Again, automatically will turn off if the water levels drop too low. Or in the summer, I do typically, I will unplug this come spring, but for these warm days, and I think Saturday, it's supposed to get up to like 50 degrees. I don't have to unplug it because as soon as the water temp hits 37, it turns itself off. And then when it drops down below, I think it is 35, it turns back on. Um, and actually on like, like <laughs> on real cold days, you can feel the heat coming up off the water. It's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, so that is my water system. Uh, I hope to do a few more videos here soon on the rest of the system. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, and I will do my best to answer your questions in the comments. So thank you all and have a wonderful day. Bye.